Good morning. Ah, ah, you know I'm on it. I'm on it. You know I'm on it. Eh, eh, I'm on it. <laughs> What's up, y'all? Y'all, how the hell I'm going to work with no damn? I done left my eyelash at home, y'all. Damn. I got to take the other one off today. I'll do that when I... Dang. <laughs> really? <laughs> I didn't trip myself out this morning, honey. All right, y'all. Let's talk about this this uh this weight loss. So, yesterday was a fasting day. It mainly just detoxed my body. I have been detoxed and cleansed. Hallelujah. Hey. I have been cleansed, honey. Hey. Cleansed. Woo. So, let me tell you. But let me say this right here because this person was on my mind. Someone had said something on my comment section um, yesterday. One of my subscribers or, or I don't know if she's a subscriber. Uh, they're a subscriber, but they did leave a comment and they were saying that they haven't lost any weight and they're feeling depressed. Let me tell you, baby, I was too. I start I, when I first started the journey, I tried all different kinds of ways to lose this weight. I even had a I had um found a personal trainer, I messed up my foot, I wanted to go to a nutritionist, and at that moment is when I had made up my mind that it was time for me to lose this weight. So I called my insurance company, found the nutritionist. How about I couldn't go see them for about a month or a month and a half because they were that booked. So let me tell you, it can be depressed, but you have to bring yourself out. You have to bring yourself out of that depression, okay? And that means you got to make some sacrifices. And with you talking about dry fasting or water fasting, that is the way to do it. That is the way because sometimes it's so hard to back away from that table. It's hard to see people eating and you not eating. You know, this is where you have to take control of your life. And that's what I had to do. I had to take control of my life. I had to give up the things that I love doing in order to lose this weight. I had tried JJ smell smoothies but I didn't like the grits you know the when that stuff is not chopped up good inside that uh blender that it ain't it ain't good y'all and then I had um my my personal trainer had gave me a bunch of recipes it didn't work and then that one week he said go with no meat I couldn't do it I mean think about it bruh you got me eat me one week and about a thousand dollars worth of food Stuff I don't really even like, and then now you talking about don't know me. Well, whatever. These person are trying to better get their life. So that's when it came to me. I got on YouTube and I thought about my aunt who tried to juice when she was sick. She was dying of cancer, and when I thought of her, that's when I thought about oh my lord. Let me see if I can find those videos. Or, you know, and other videos of people juicing to lose weight. I'm trying to think, did I even know anyone personally? I don't, no one but my aunt that juice. So to hold myself accountable, and see, this is what you got to do. You got to hold yourself accountable. So if you can find somebody to do this with you, man, you blessed. So the people that I turn to, I always know I can turn to my parents and my husband. So I asked my husband, I said, listen, I want a juice. Will you do this with me? He was like, well, I do it for breakfast and, you know, maybe I do it for lunch or dinner sometime. I'm like, okay, that's good enough because I know I'm being held accountable. I got to do it too. So then I went to my parents and I was like, hey, will y'all juice with me? And I told them the benefits of it. And, you know, we started to lose weight. My dad and I did a competition with it and, um, you know. So you got to you gotta find that accountability for yourself. Now, my next accountability, because you're going to get bored. You're going you're gonna to get bored. I decided, let me start uploading YouTube uh, videos. I never expected to get 
no more than about two subscribers. Let's be real with it. Um, Because I figure what I'm doing is not that interesting. But there are so many people struggling out there, y'all. I'm telling you. Man, I know what it feel like. I know what it feel like to be 276 pounds and can barely breathe walking inside the building. I know how it feel to put on your clothes and your boobs popping out. Your boobs popping out. Your booty looking flat. Your face fat. You unhappy. You can't breathe. You can't walk. Woo, child. I know what it feel like, baby. And so, when I started doing it, that first month, I did it faithfully with my parents. I had lost 20-something pounds in just a few weeks. Come on, y'all. Man. So, then I said, well, I need to really, really, really get serious with this. Let me juice three times a day. And But it was around the holidays, and I have those videos on here, so I juiced three times a day. And baby, I ended up losing 40 something pounds in 30 days. I started in November and ended December the 5th, I think. I had lost 41 pounds. Okay. So and then I went back to eating. I gained about 10 pounds back, I think. 40. I got up to 252. So I, I gained 12 pounds. Yeah, I gained 12 pounds back. But, you know that's going to happen when you start back eating. So now I'm struggling to get this stuff back off again. In the month of April, I've been, I've called myself dedicated, right? And I got off the wheel. Got off that deck, um, got off the boat, baby. Um, Now I'm back on it again. So you, listen, listen, listen. <laughs> that song. We fall down, but we get up. We fall down, but we get up. We fall down. It's real. That song is real. You fall down, get up. You can't sit around and be depressed. Get up. Do it with me. Ask me to help you. I'll do it. I'm with you. I'll motivate you. I'll add you on Facebook. I have a personal page on Facebook. Whatever you need, I'm here with you, all right? This is the month to get started. Let me know.